Well, this continues to be a fast-paced investigation tonight, uh, some 10 hours after this explosion took place, just at the front entrance to the women's hospital here in Liverpool near the city centre. Uh, just a short uh, time ago, we had reports of police negotiators moving in beyond police cordons uh, at an area about a mile from here. Rutland Avenue is the name of the street. Now, in this same area, a couple of hours ago, we had a number of arrests. Three people arrested, a 29-year-old male 26-year-old man and also a 21-year-old man. They have been taken into police custody, detained under the Terrorism Act, where they are now being questioned by officers. And then that area, as I say, remains cordoned off as the investigation continues. And it was really just within the last half hour that we got reports that there was further activity there. And these plainclothes officers uh, wearing body armour but with the words negotiator on that body armour going beyond the police lines. There has also been video that has come out circulating uh, now within the media showing armed police carrying out arrests at that area in Rutland Avenue. The investigation has not been formally declared a terrorist incident but it is at this stage being led by Northwest Counter-Terrorism Police as they piece together the exact events that took place at 11 o'clock here today, just as the nation was pausing to remember its war dead. That, of course, immediately rang alarm bells. Uh, the Home Secretary has said that uh, it is clearly an awful incident, that she is monitoring the situation and has appealed for the police to be given space to carry out that investigation. Now, my colleague Bradley Harris has been down at Rutland Avenue where those earlier three arrests took place. He's been speaking to local residents who understandably are very concerned about what has been unfolding over recent hours. Well, so basically, me and my mate decided we was walking from our friend's house and uh, on the way we saw the, there was like a bomb squad in Kensington and then we was looking on our phones to see what it was and then apparently there was also a bomb in uh, the women's. So we've also seen what's going on here and thought, is it all connected? Is this a shock to you? Yeah, you don't really see stuff around here like that. It's, I think it's a bit mad wherever you live if you see things like this, isn't it? Shocking stuff. Now, as um, always, so with these investigations. Yeah. Indeed. So, um, Sorry, Mark, on, Mark, clearly this is an ongoing inquiry and everyone will want to know what the nature of this, of this incident is. But it, we're still inconclusive, aren't we? We're not hearing from the authorities just what exactly uh, is the background to what's happened. No, um, they will have an idea, certainly. And I think the very fact that uh, counterterrorism police detectives tells you the direction that that inquiry is going. The fact as well, of course, that three people have been arrested under the Terrorism Act, that there appears to be other activity involving armed police officers in this area, Rutland Avenue, this evening. Uh, but, of, of course, they've still got a lot of information that they need to piece together. This was a taxi, we understand, uh, where the explosion took place inside that taxi. The passenger... A male uh, died at the scene. The taxi driver was injured, has been taken to hospital and is in, uh, we're told, a stable. He'll, of course, be questioned by police when he's fit and able to do that. He may have some valuable insight. They will, of course, be, have been able to piece together the journey as well. This individual who took that taxi to the hospital uh, had come from it is believed that it probably uh, was that area around Rutland Avenue, but not confirmed by the authorities as yet. Uh, so they probably by this time uh, know the uh, suspect, who their suspects are. Uh, they are piecing together that kind of information and we get in the hours and days after incidents like this, other arrests that take place. Um, searches of uh, other properties uh, around the local area as they speak 
eyes of their prime suspect uh, and try, as I say, just to piece together exactly what happened and whether, of course, importantly, there is a wider threat out there.